May 14, 1948, the British mandate in Palestine is about to expire. David Ben-Gurion proclaims the birth of the State of Israel. The next day, the five neighboring Arab countries declare war. The city of Haifa and its harbor become the center of bitter conflict as a new Jewish state is born in the tense atmosphere of civil war. During the Arab-Israeli War of 1948, more than 700,000 Palestinians are forced into exile. It's the Nakba, which means catastrophe in Arabic. Haganah forces seek out every Arab, and barricades are set up to screen those who had not already fled the city. Everyone is searched. The Haganah, a paramilitary organization, forms the core of Israeli forces and is responsible for expelling Palestinians. Some leave on their own to escape the violence. Their lands and houses are seized. Most flee to Gaza, Jordan, Lebanon, or Syria. On December 11, 1948, the United Nations adopts a resolution for the right of return for these Palestinian refugees. But Israel has never given its permission. Seventy years later, Ibrahim Mahmoud still lives in the Jalazone camp north of Ramallah. He was 17 when he had to leave his native village which is now in Israeli territory. We went to the mountains and we spent four or five nights there. People were lost like sheep without a shepherd. I promised before God that we will go home. We have to go home. Every May 14th, the Israelis celebrate the creation of their state, while the following day, Palestinian refugees and their children commemorate the Nakba. They've never abandoned their hope of returning to their village. One day, we'll come back to our land and we'll have rights again. We'll continue to resist until we get it all back. This Palestinian family holds on tightly to that precious symbol of their right to return, the key to the house they were forced to abandon 70 years ago.